Hey everyone. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? YouTube busy boy Nero coming at you live through the power of the internet, introducing a brand new episode of the Great Race. <laughs> you do my job better. <laughs> Those vocal exercises I've done before the stream really paid off. <laughs> uh, I'm just making sure I can see the the bleep bloop. Let me go and get a stream on my phone. Go for it. I'm actually not seeing it on the channel yet, but I guess it takes a while to populate. Um, should take like five seconds to come in, probably. I'm seeing it now, though. Yeah. And we've got some people here. Hey, Will, I'm hey, Ethan. Oh, there it is, yeah. Um, hey, gang. Will, Wham and Ethan Dennison. Ethan says that we're going to take viewer suggestions. If people say good shit in chat, like, that could definitely influence <laughs> us. So, yeah. Definitely happened over LD. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we took, like, art and all sorts over LD. Um, whether that will continue to be the case, I don't know. Probably not. But, like, did, like... Oh. Ideas for, well, yeah, ideas for just stuff in the game. Like, by all means, throw that as. Yeah, we can also we can definitely um, I don't know. We can, as as the thing goes on, it wouldn't be bad to take assets if they like fit the theme really well. Or we're happy to be. Yeah, sure. Them. I guess we could do that. Um, hey, Infernal. Um, are you happy? By the way, just bear in mind, I can now flick to you at any time without warning. Are you happy for me to start doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you can't. Uh, yeah, sure. actually, can you just do that now? Just so I can yeah, see what okay. that looks like. So me. that should have changed to to your screen. So okay, well, if that's yeah, um, on on the stream, we should be able to move between between the two uh, streams. Um, also, I quite like that on. Um, I'm, I'm going to go back to mine for a second. On um, Game Maker, the console has a double thickness bar that's like exactly the same as our video outline so it looks like oh yeah it does <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it continues from from the uh from the video. that's great hey multi fishy cake are you ready for big dino oh no i can't do big dino today hey rian big dino yeah that's whenever rex streams he uh he puts his camera very big and it always terrifies fishy cake but <laughs> I, can't I can't do that, that. <laughs> looks like this one's gonna be random cuts every 20 seconds if you're lucky one well, that's what we in the business call a two-cam show. <laughs> you might have seen in Will and Grace. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm currently. I think I'm currently on your thing. So have you just got this um, macro to a. Uh, yep. To. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, I forgot that. I did. I did a tiny, tiny stream. I, it wasn't very long, so I actually wasn't feeling that well. But um, I made some moving grass that moves away from <laughs> me. Fun times. Um, but yeah, today we're actually going to make a proper start. We're going to start making um, a starting area, like a, an opening place to be in the game, um, yep. and start some basic mechanics. Ethan says, do we have a theme in mind? It's going to be a game about... Uh, Sorry, do, do you want to go for this? Do you want to feel this one? No, no, you, you take it. You take it. Okay, sure. Um, so it's going to be a game about... Your, you're a nature photographer, and you're going to be going around taking photos of plants and animals um, for maybe magazines or nature documentaries. People will request certain things, or maybe you'll find things out f through observing animals, like their behaviors and that kind of stuff. It, it, think like almost Pokemon Snap meets Buried Things. I don't know game. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's going to have some flavor of the, of the game we made for LD. And, um, but it's going to be not about digging, it's going to be about photographs. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I ask you a quick one hmm. before we get going? What resolution are we thinking we're running in? No idea. What resolution is buried things in? 1024 by 1024, I think. So we probably want it widescreen. Yeah. I imagine. But other than that, I'm happy to keep the resolution mad low. Can um, Does Game Maker do that thing where you can scale up with nearest neighbor? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I've done with all our pixel art games. Otherwise, it would did look. You have to, but did you have to do that to the sprites, or can the screen? No, do no, it? you can do it. There is a there is a function for saying that how you interpolate textures. Beautiful. So at the moment, you set the camera to naturally be a square. You've told it to do that. The capture. Yes, but I've also told okay. the texture interpolation to just be off, so there is no like bilinear scaling or anything on this. So if you wanted to now, with the thing that you were showing earlier, the um, the wibbly wobbly guy, grass grass man, wibbly wobbly grass man. Yeah. Um, you could there's you could write a script in here to tell this to go widescreen. We don't have to worry too much about. Yeah, it's yeah, and, and the only thing that we need to particularly worry about is if I'm starting to code anything that depends on camera size. 
Uh, yeah, then I don't think we'll have to see that. Well, we will for Gui, I guess, maybe. But, yeah. um, so, but like, even uh, maybe photos possibly will depend on camera size, right? Okay. So, but, so this is 1024. So I'm going to, the reason I'm asking is because things like spotlights and stuff, where you've got loads of black on the outside, yep. I want to do that by, it's really 1024. He's only 16, right? I don't know if it's 1024. Um, okay, in the game, we're, we're looking at 256. Real pixel size is 1024. Ah, okay. So 256 is what I want to know then. Right. So if I if I had a uh, a 256 texture, that should always fill the screen. At the moment, yes. Not. If you but, wanted to be safe about it, you might want to do a 1024. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I was just thinking for things like, we were talking about the camera for Ashton, the frame. Mm -hmm. And what we want is for that to be a very large black area with a bit in it. So how big should I make that external black area? Yeah. 1024 is probably fine. In that if you're at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you're still not going to overshoot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cool. So Do you want to start with that? Because I just I so I can get a keybind into the game that lets you start taking photos. That's exactly why I was going to do it. Um, and I'm going to make one little object now, uh, a rubbish tree. I'm going to make one... Yeah. Rubbish tree, and we're going to see if we can make it so the game understands that you've taken a photo of it. Perfect, let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do you uh, also things like opacity and stuff? Yes, Nero. Yeah, you know, we'll work out on the fly. <laughs> do you say yes, Nero? <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, sorry. Yes, <laughs> man, man at the back in the white shirt. <laughs> yeah, sir. Um, things like opacity and stuff, mm -hmm. I guess we'll work, work it out on the fly, but. I might give you some stuff and be like, you need to control the opacity on this. Some stuff I'm like, I've controlled some of the opacity on this. Right. Things like clouds and things. Like, I might give you low opacity, but then you can fiddle. Um, okay. Do you, want, do you want me to warn you whenever I switch to your screen? <laughs> um, <laughs> it'd, be good if you, it'd be good if there was an easy way to warn me. Uh, just so... Miz, look out! I, just so I can be more interested. <laughs> Well, I've switched uh, to you right now to show to show you making the. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, this should take two seconds. So I'm just the actual thing about this is the easiest part, easiest thing to make in the entire world. But the sizes are quite specific. So let's make a two fifty six by two fifty six film. Let's two fifty seven. and then that's what's that two fifty five, two fifty. Five. Oh, no, we're not doing cloud. That was a disaster before. The clouds went pretty well in the thing. Didn't oh, so the clouds were good. Clouds were <laughs> How dare you? Ethan says, seems like we're going to have a pretty big map. You're going to have like a mini map or a map subscreen or something players can use to see where they are. Mm -hmm. I, I, would, I would expect so. I would expect there to be some kind of map. Uh, I think... Like, but I'm not sure how we uh, did that just yet. This is such a bad way to do a 256 by 256 square. Could have literally. Show me, to, just... show me to get off your stream for a minute. No, no, no. no. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, I don't want anyone to see this. <laughs> uh, okay, so. What's that? Is that T? That's T56, I imagine. I've made a rubbish tree. Beautiful. What a weird way I've chosen to do this. Okay, I'm going to do the proper way of doing this, <laughs> which is make the selection smaller. <laughs> uh, transform selection size 25%. That's, that is exact. <laughs> and a much better way to do this. I'm going to pop it back over to mine so uh, well. I can put a tree in the game and everyone can see that there is a tree in the game. You do that. And then also things like camera. <laughs> Thanks, Fishy. I'm glad you're enjoying the. The live square drawing. Um, okay. Room with point five. Let's see. I think this is a good setup, though, having the uh, the thing being being able to flick between screens. Yeah, I think this is. This is smart. So the actual frustrum itself, I guess size does matter. Yeah, real true. 
Do we want the camera frame to be a square right now, just to be like easy for calculation purposes? Do we want? Sorry, say that again. So the camera first and the camera frame. Yep. Uh, do we want the, the actual size of that does matter, mm -hmm. uh, and it might even be one of those things that you can change later and upgrade. Yes, and stuff. I imagine it will. So I need to have a very exact size. So right now, shall we just go ahead and say something like sixty-four by sixty-four? No, that's um, pretty big. Too big? No, no, that sounds smaller than I was thinking. Actually, no, maybe that's not too big. What's that? That's a yeah, try it. That's cool. 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 size of the screen. Oh, it's not so bad. So, okay, let's do a 64 by 64 yep. for now. Um, and then, but yeah, I imagine later on we want it to be probably rectangular. Uh, as opposed to square. No, it doesn't have to be. I like so something very cute about doing it square, even that's not how it works in the real world. Like, even, even having the um, aspect ratio be square is kind of fun. There's something very <laughs> quaint about it. Looks like, that would make it look like a Polaroid. We could actually make them all just come out as Polaroids. Right. <laughs> That's true. They should definitely be Polaroids. Uh, okay, so... Oh, shut up. Oh, do shut up. I've got a game logo. It's fucking tight. It's three colours. Alright, our tree. Our tree is alive. I'm coming back to you, Niz. Everyone has seen my tree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we need we need some kind of method of knowing. I wonder if there, is there any way I can force control of this? That's not helping. It's not helping. I doubt it. It's also yeah. It's also. I'll just we're just doing like newscasters. Over to Niz in the studio. We've got Niz <laughs> on on, uh, on location with his squares. I guess the best way of doing this is actually maybe you not. Know, maybe it maybe work even better if uh, you like you never tell me. So I, I always have to be on it. <laughs> like I live in a constant sort of state of fear right. that at any given moment someone might be looking. Schrodinger's stream. Schrodinger's stream. Oh, by the way, guys. Speaking of stream, if anybody wants to come and check out <laughs> a less good version of this uh, with only one screen, uh, I've I obviously had to get Twitch to make this work. So please, please. I beg you, please, someone will go and follow me on Twitch. I will only ever do this, and it will never be worth watching, but it will just really boost my ego. That's, uh, that's Nirufa, N-I-R-U-F-A. I am live right now. I think you have to do that in NATO for anyone around here to understand you. <laughs> November, indigo, Ooh, rejection, <laughs> <laughs> undesirable, <laughs> fuck. Failure. <laughs> Ah! Can, you do, can you do me a favor and drop the link in the chat? No, I can't. Um, oh, I could. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, hang on then. It'll mean, it'll mean the world to me. I spelled that wrong. I put in. <laughs> That's me, I'm <laughs> Spelled that wrong, so I don't know what you're going to do about that, anyway. <laughs> There you go. That's me, I'll put. Everyone just heard you say that's me out twice. <laughs> I'm so hyped to get my um my my first ever subs. Please, please, <laughs> I need this. Add revenue to improve the production. Yeah, everyone just go and subscribe. I'll set up a Patreon tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I think I'm ready. Uh, I'm literally just going to give you uh like an un like just a square right now. No, no fancy camera effects. Uh, so let's make a folder for this as well, actually. LD45 is that folder. Switch trick is that folder. Working title for this game? Buried things. <laughs> Bad idea, right? Because that was a working title for a different game. No, that's a real title uh, for a different game. It's the same game, just, just making it bigger. <laughs> Wrong. Bad. I'm going to call this... Um, what's? Hang on. Pokemon Snap. Let's do a pun on that. Uh... Pokemon. Uh -oh. Pokemon turns out is a hard word to rhyme things with. Pokem into frame. Bad. <laughs> so bad. Pokemon snap. Uh, rhyming dictionary. <laughs> what rhymes with Pokemon? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Forsaken. Disagree. 
Pokemon mistaken invasion. How is it? How are you pronouncing Pokemon? <laughs> Pomaken. <laughs> <laughs> the Kraken. Uh. The the problem with making a Camelot for additions to the game Infernal is we are essentially <laughs> yeah basically um. It's like how some Kickstarter projects will, like, if they're making a film and they'll be like, oh, hey, pay us $50 to be in the film. You're just actively making your film worse. It's a case of that. Like, if we say that paying us money means that we will put your thing in the game, we are probably, it's probably going to be at the detriment of the game. Um, there needs to be uh, curation of ideas. Uh, you can make Camelots can be optional, right? I suppose they can. You wouldn't want to only take like ten percent of them because we don't want the other. No, I, I kind of think you're right. How am I sending you stuff by the way? Should I just flick it into our Discord? Discord. Well, sure. No, we'll have a drive. I'll, we... I'll throw up a. Uh, yeah. Let's make a, let's make a drive. Sure. We did it for LD forty five. It was very good. Uh, new folder. Uh, I'm calling it Animal Snap. <laughs> All right, that'll do. It's not very good, but we will just change the name layer. Uh, new folder. I'm just going to call this one art, I guess. It's not very audio. What else might we have? Design for any doc stuff. And then backup, if you want to ever throw builds. And then we'll start folding this out later. What did I save you as? Oh, interesting. I appear to have not saved that at all. Hey, tribulations. Um, My trip. What are we up to? At the minute, we're like, we've literally just started. So we're making a game about f taking photos of animals. Um, I'll switch back to me for a second here, I guess. Um, oh, wow. So, um, there's not much in it yet. Um, we've pinched a couple assets from buried things just to begin on with. I've made some grass that moves out of your way when you walk around. Um, I've made a tree, and the next thing that we're going to do is add like a camera um, frame to the game, like a viewfinder for a camera. That's the word I was looking for. Um, we're looking. We're going to make a camera viewfinder so that you can take photos of stuff. Um, and I need to make some code that checks. Is what you've just taken a photo of actually correct? Is the thing in the picture? Can I just say that uh, while I was self-absorbed coming up with rubbish name, Animal Snap, mm. PSR Man 3000, this channel, brilliant, easy name to pronounce, by the way, did point out that Pokemon and Nikon aren't a million miles apart, and that would have actually been brilliant if I'd paid any attention. <laughs> but but can I do it? Because... I mean, I don't know where we're going, but this definitely would have given me enough to spend another five minutes thinking of a Nikon pun. Or Nikon? <laughs> Nikon? 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 It says Nikon in that, um, in that song, Garfunkel song. I like to take a photograph so Papa don't take my code of chrome away. Um, okay. Give me that frame, yo. Is it done? It's done. It's in the drive. Okay, cool. Papa don't take my coat of chrome. Papa don't take my coat of chrome away. Hey. Oh, there's three people watching my Twitch stream. <laughs> oh, this is. Uh... I am so sorry. Can you can you uh, drop us a drive link in uh, in Discord? Yeah. Thank you. I'll drop you the whole uh, folder. Link sharing on. What a weird thing to do, to get the link and then have to turn link sharing on. Uh, okay. Uh, it's strange okay. that my whole stream goes out of focus and back again. Out of focus? That sounds like a quality issue, like a stream quality issue. Mm -hmm. um, what folder am I in for just art, I guess? Yeah. Um, cool. Design is going to be for uh, like documents specifically. Not anything we want to write down about or like puzzle ideas and stuff like that. Just throw that into my folder. Um, Okay, so... I, I can't see what you're up to when I'm literally not already viewing you, by the way. So if you are doing anything cool, let me know. Yeah, I will. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, what I'm currently doing is going into... Uh, that was a terrible place five. to search it. Let's make a folder. I'm going to switch to you because I'm going into my system files, so that's a... Cool oh, wow, well, that is what I'm doing as well. <laughs> but please come and join me. <laughs> Uh, let's crack a couple of these things open. So this was the basic desert section. This is 5.12. So I think um, also, in my mind, and I'm not sure how much we described this, but you're on a sort of island. Uh, and Can I think kind of, I think you might start there. And start. to my mind, this island is, like, in my head, I'm going lost. So it's like a jungle island, like a jungle forest island. Yep. But I think we want lots of biomes. Yeah. So actually, the place I'm thinking... Uh, as well, like, well, Lost actually does do a bit of that. There'll be beach for sand, but I think that also might want to be a desert area, might want to be a snowy area. Yep. We might just want to do a few of these things to, for the sake of... Um, Maybe like caves or something. Cats, yeah, some kind of swamp or mangrove area, I think, would be really cool. Yeah. Um, because also one of the other things is I wanted to... Uh, we had the glisten on the sand, and that's sick. And I think doing more terrain effects would be really fun. Yeah. So it might be fun to try and do footsteps or things like ripples in water when you walk through. Yeah, I'm down for all that shit. That sounds good. Okay, cool. Um, let's crack open. Uh, what was the where's the basic running sprite sheet? There we go. It's oh, no, so apparently your voice might be out of sync with your camera. I, there is an option in uh, in OBS somewhere to not use device timestamps, which I think fixes that. Uh, okay, is it right? Hang on, is it out of sync with my? Hey, whoever just said that, can you check if it's out of sync with my camera on Twitch <laughs> or if it's just on YouTube? Because if it's just on YouTube, I actually don't think there's a fix for that. Uh, no, well, we're is... not getting your sound through YouTube. You're getting my sound through Twitch. Well, I'm not streaming your sound, right? You're get yeah, you're getting my sound through the call. Oh shit! Yeah, okay, yeah, no, there is no fix for that. No, I don't. Think there isn't. Because I'm I'm just streaming Niz's Twitch stream. Obviously, I get yeah. his stream delay, but his call is live. If, if you stream my Twitch audio, then you'll just get double my sound, right? Yeah. Oh, no, not if you don't. Oh, I need to be in a content. call with you, otherwise I'm going to hear your entire voice on a delay. The only workaround for that would be for, like, me to... It's it's horrible. I'd have to, like, call you on Discord on my phone. Yeah. And just then thinking. also have my line in on my computer and get your Discord... Sound. In fact, I'd have to stream my voice audio from your stream and mute myself entirely. Yeah, Which, but then, then you'd have a delay. So and then, <laughs> that wouldn't really bother me. And then... Our, all of our what we're talking about is then a delay of like two seconds behind what's actually happening on the screen. I think. Oh, fuck it. Let's not be, let's not fix that. No, that'd be nasty. Okay, so let's just start with some basic colors. I'm gonna get a palette up on my right here. I'm gonna actually cheat a little bit and get a pixel art palette up on my right. Pixel art jungle. Let's see if there's anyone done a top-down one, and I can look at assets I like and see if we want to rip any of it off. <laughs> um, that's really pretty. It's very minimal. That's very cool. Yeah, I don't mind necessarily starting off with, like, um, before you even get mechanical, just, like, building a, a world, or at least a little chunk of a world... So just mm -hmm. just fleshing out the the little details, like let's just design yeah. a forest yeah, yeah. with some definitely, you know, yeah. Like let's have the get all the rustling bushes in and the, yeah, that'd be cool. The footsteps and the, the I think it might help for me to start by making a oh excuse me, start by making sort of like a load of modular assets, and then we can just plant loads down. Um. What's that? That's really pretty too. How are they doing the grass here? If uh, I don't enable the use of views in Game Maker, can I affect the camera code? Okay, hang on. Let's, if we want to do some like basic dithered grass, let's say we want to do like a mossy clump or something. Let's get like a dirt color. Just get the brush down a little bit. And then we'll overlay. We'll overlay some some grassy colours. But I don't take my code home. Do you ever do stream music? 
No, mostly just because of copyright. Yeah. But I see people use those just like lo fi. Yeah, if you're like from SoundCloud, you're basically fine, aren't you? I don't, yeah, I don't really understand like how all that stuff works. Nor do I, to be fair. So if we wanted to, like. What are you up to over there? What's going on? I'm drawing some. Gr I'm trying to work out how we can do some grass textures. Uh, so I'm just fiddling right now with some basic palettes. Okay. Are you thinking of grass as being like a flat texture on the ground or something that sticks up with depth? Both. Cool, okay. There will be some areas of long grass, but there will be the whole thing will also be mapped with short grass. Got you. Uh, it might even be worth having an animation on the short grass texture as well. So let's say this is like... We, you know, if we if we just dithered this out, am I going to get good patches of like interesting color here? So let's say I want to go for like a kind of bluer, darker, a uh, couple patches. So let's just do no, that's too dark. It's also too blue. Fishy wants a giraffe. Oh, well, it's a bit early. <laughs> put it in the camel, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if I like dither this in, is this just going to look natural? This is going to be, by the way, you guys are going to be watching a lot of trial and error here. Which I, I can, I can uh, switch back to mine if you like. That's fine, I just mean in general for the entirety of my <laughs> Yeah, no, I'll switch back to mine. Oh, well, for, yeah, the, please for please. the entirety of... <laughs> for the whole stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, flip, flip back and forth pretty freely. Let's do like a, a one-tap dither here. What kind of effect are we getting here? Okay, Let's... I'm going to start working on some camera controls, some like more specific camera controls. So I'm going to have the camera try and like stay one step ahead of the player. Like, so when you turn to face in each direction, the camera flicks in that direction. Sure. Um, so where's my creation? Um, I guess I'm going to have a hey, Delric. I'm going to have a, a, a variable, which is just like target X. And target Y. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna have this look for the player, and I'm realizing that I'm generating this object before I generate the player object. So just to be safe, I'll do this second. Okay, so at the moment. Yes. Let's just say that target x equals object player dot x and target y equals object uh, object player dot y. In fact, to make sure that I've done the disabling of the current options properly, let's run it and just make sure the camera doesn't work. Right now, the camera should not be functioning. Perfect. Okay. So now. Um, You enabled zero equals true. That should be on the create. So we should now get at least some send, but it shouldn't be following the player, I think. Okay. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, hang on. Um, current view, view current. View, yeah, okay, view current equals zero. Do you know what animals we want in the game? No idea. God, no. Not um, why didn't that work? How, how does Game Maker say we use view current? 
You current oh just returns the current view being rendered. It's a read only. Okay, how do we set the current view? What I want is a stipple brush. Photoshop deliverer brush. Is that gonna do the correct thing? A secret rare animal would probably be a wampus. We probably will have secret rare, rare animals and stuff. That I think we're both big fans of adding secrets to games. Yeah. Um, and it seems like a game that's very... Uh, that's going to lend itself to having secrets because you can take a photo of anything, right? So there'd be ways of maybe taking photos of stuff that people haven't necessarily asked you to take, but it triggers some kind of secret. So it's a, it's a nice open mechanic that allows for plenty of finagling to get some secrets into the game. Um, so we've now got that working. So now we want to get it following the player. So we want to always be constantly like lurping towards the targets. Yeah. Um. and do some quick maths. So let's say that our camera X equals zero and the player X equals a hundred. We would say camera minus player and then we want to that's a minus. Take, we want to add, you know, we want to take away. So, okay, we want to do, I guess, player minus camera. And then add like 10% of that. So, cam x plus equals that. So, plus equals this which is player minus cam so it's going to be it's going to be player x minus cam x all over 100 uh, now what happens if the camera x is 200 and the player x is 100 that would be 100 minus 200 all over 10 which would mean that we're adding minus 10 and if the camera is above the player or to the right of the player, then we want to be adding in the minus. Perfect. Okay. That's what we want to be doing. So the, we're going to add um, player.x minus, hang on, object player.x minus view x view. And that all wants to be times. Um, uh, Let's just have my smile. Shall I just call it speed? No, speed's a bad name. Cam speed. Uh, mm -hmm. And let's set cam speed here. So that's just a multiplier, and we can do what we want with it. Um. Oh. Okay. No. Yeah, that's fine. Well, actually, hang on. I should be doing this to the target, not to the object. So let's just replace that. Where's new brushes? 
Oh my, in the wrong. Here. Seen a few new people. Um, so thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, if you want to follow what's happening, like, where's my player? Oh, I'm. Oh, yeah, my player now. Like, to... oh no. Oh, my player's up there. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got you. I need to. I need to fix that. I'm gonna switch back to you. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm currently just importing some brushes. Sure. Um. Uh, so yeah, new people. There's a link to our Discord in the YouTube description. Um. We announce all our streams and stuff there, so you can follow along with uh, any any streams that we put out, which will include more development of this game, which we're starting today. Mm -hmm. And we stream lots of bomb defusal and various other things. We do. Well, I don't. <laughs> also, don't forget to go ahead and uh, follow that Twitch link. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to plug this until, well, I'm going to plug it a lot, basically. Okay, let's see if these dither brushes have imported. One of the beautiful things about open source coding and itch.io is the amount of um, solutions to problems. That someone else has already done for you. I should really have that Twitch thing open in case anyone says anything to me and then telling everyone to follow my Twitch link and actually I'm not even paying attention to it. <laughs> oh, this is good. Photoshop's crashed. That's good. Well, that's good. Okay, that should fix my player being centered in the camera now, I think. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that lurps really nicely as well. There you go. File. No. Edit. Presets. Preset manager. Get loading the dither brushes. Hmm. Oh. Let's see. My player does kind of outrun the camera slightly, and then the, and then it catches up. It's kind of cool. I expected it to lock to the player when he wasn't moving. But just at the start of the game, it would like slide to him. But no, that actually works really well. Um, okay. Oh, I see. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> Uh, why are you... You just don't colour. Oh, why is your flow so... Yoink, yoink. Better. Why are you on that layer, though? There we go. Magnifique. So I think the best way to do this dithering is to do a full dither. And then rub bits out. So what do this do we have available? Because this was a really good palette. That's 0.3, so it's 0.5. Okay, that's my that's a classic dinner. Oh, this is so well done. <laughs> oh itch, you beautiful bitch. Bitch you. Itch is so yeah, it's so good. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm gonna do some dither layers then. So we can do some really cool shit here. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually just uh, let's clean all this stuff up for now. Doink, doink, doink. What are you? You're that, you're that. Perfect. Bish, bash, bosh. We'll just fold you up into experiment A. Because we might come back to you. And then Let's actually just do a palette as well. I didn't do a palette. I should always do a palette. Hey there, Buzzardor. What is this game about? It's going to be about f taking photos of animals. 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 You're going to be like a nature <laughs> photographer. you got to go and find elusive species doing rare and interesting behaviours and try and capture them on film. I should probably just stop making custom swatches, but I'm going to do the old school palette. For now. Gnarly, dude. What a swood game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a sweet guy. <laughs> oh, I do wish he hadn't been so racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh dear, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Oh dear, oh dear, I've gone over into the other monitor. Oh lord, 
I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Sure, I've got a quick switch back. <laughs> that. <laughs> dock, you little shit. Why don't you dock? You're not docking. There you go. Uh, okay. What was this? Is this pallet? No. Is this pallet? Where have I, where have I hidden you, mysterious pallet? Oh, I haven't gone and made him. I've done it. I've already done it again. Um, He's done it again, boys. I think right. this, if I add this little line here and here, should make it so that my um, player now faces left and right when I'm running, and I'm going to use that check to see if he's facing left and right to have the camera snap in front of of him left and right. There you go. So when I'm moving, it's kind of there you go. He he looks left and right. Perfect. Um, so now my object camera controller. Do you want to check stream out for a second, and I'll show you the the little camera slide. Please. In fact, let, let me do this bit and then I'll show you because it'll be fancy. Okay. Um, so if object player What's the dot image x scale is one. So here we've got it where our the camera has a target coordinate to, to look for, to, to slide towards. And at the moment, we're just looking for the object's player. Uh, sorry, the player's x coordinate and the player's y coordinate. Um, we're also just taking half of the camera width and height off that, so he's in the middle as opposed to in the top corner. Um, but now, what I want to do is add or take away a little bit from the x axis, depending on where the player is facing, to snap it in front of him. So I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do now. So, if the player's image x scale is one, which would mean he's facing to the right hand side. Then I'm just going to add target x plus equals. Um, I'm just going to make a new variable called facing offset. Um, plus equals isn't how I should be doing this, actually. Oh, hang on. Is this going to be the most clever thing I've ever done in my entire life? Actually, yeah, no, this is fine, because I reset it back to this every step. So yeah, target plus equals facing offset else. Target x minus equals facing offset. Um, and let's make the facing offset in here, which is the camera's offset in the direction that the player is facing. Um, and let's just make that a small fraction of the width of our camera. Um, let's just try calling it 0.1 and see what that looks like. That might be too small. In fact, yeah, in fact, I think that might be too small. Let's call it 0.2 and see what that looks like. So Infernal says, um, you could add text below the viewfinder of the camera that tells the player what they would be taking a photo of. Yeah. Um, if the animal's hidden, though, then it obviously wouldn't tell you that. Um, I suppose it's possible. Would we want that on the hood? Oh, that totally works. It's too big, but that works. Nice. Yeah, I'll have to stream um, it's possible. So we're thinking about the camera is sort of could be one of the integral gameplay components of this. And that looks really sick. Um, so it might well be that the camera gets upgraded and changed as we go. And that might be one of the things that ends up becoming a part of the camera. Yeah, that could be an upgrade. That'd be interesting. It tells you like a, what, what you're seeing. Yeah. Um, I'm slowing down the camera slide a little bit. I think it's a tad fast, and I'm going to shorten the left and right look distance. Mm, is that too short? Oh, it's too slow, actually. Shouldn't have halved it. Let's put that back up to 7.5, and let's put that back on 1. See what that happens. And if this works, I'm going to switch back to you. 
It's cool. I'm just, uh, I'm actually just learning the dither brushes right now, so it's not too exciting. But please do feel free to come and join. Let's get that layer panel up as well. I don't need the nice. That panel. seems like a really good camera slide speed. I don't know if you want to see what that looks like. I'm looking at the stream now. Yeah, that seems sick. That seems really good. <laughs> There's not an up and down right now. It's there isn't. No. Right. Um, currently, I don't have the sprite facing up and down, which is something I need to add in. Um, but yeah, I guess that would also probably be the case that we had an up and down in there. You're used to the left and right mostly from from platform. From platform right. exactly. Yeah. No. I, yeah. I'm, I'm. I agree. I think it does want to be on the up and down axis as well. <clears throat> cool. Or as we in the business like to call it, the Y axis. No, I think we uh, we tend to call it the up and down axis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as, a, as a real game dev, we call it the up and up and down. Is that what you were taught at your game dev school? At game dev school. Right. Which is another real thing that it's called. <laughs> Baxton is in the studio looking at dither brushes. Yeah, come and have a look. So first, the first things first. First things to note is that dither brushes are the single coolest thing in the world. <laughs> and I love them very much. So we can move between. I'm going to go through a few different patterns. Here. So this, this is your basic range. What's oh hey, no idea. I guess these are just their types. <laughs> Done it in blood types. <laughs> um, I just favourite some of these brushes, but they're really cool. I've also got pressure brushes, but I'm not using the tablet for this. Uh, so let's move through. Let's go as high as seven five, and we'll go for a smaller brush, and we'll do some like really base dithering here. And we can do different grass implied thicknesses with these brushes as well. Maybe I'll go down to three seven. In fairness, um, it, it but this would make sure people knew what they were aiming at. Um, I guess part of the challenge is is knowing that anyway, especially like. I guess some puzzles in the game could almost be like you have a couple of very similar looking species and there are certain yeah. small giveaways as to which one is the correct one to photograph. Um, so I guess working out what you're taking a photo of is probably part of the challenge in the first place. Hey there, Definitely. Thick Astley. <laughs> thick Astley? Thick Astley. Oh, welcome to the stream! I see. What software are we using? Game Maker 1.4 and currently Photoshop. Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud, to be precise. <laughs> so, do we want overlap on these colours on the dither? Dither in both directions. That's the other thing I want to ask. Dither in both directions, yeah or no? I don't know that's all what's happening, but do we have any crossover on the dither? I think no. I'm between blocky colours. So now, ooh, palette needs to be free. So now, if I merge all these, and selectively erase. What are we looking at? What kind of pattern is developing? The ghastly is very polite. <laughs> Which is, I don't know, not expected from someone called Thick Astley. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy my name. I enjoy your videos. Thank you very much, Thick Astley. Let's go ahead and lower the contrast on this particular level. Lever. Layer. Oh, right, wrong layer. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> okay. So I think I think we'll exclusively use dither for foliage, I think maybe just a two-level dither is fine as well. Maybe we don't want... I know. Are you thinking that I put low alpha on this uh, viewfinder? <laughs> I've got a brush on again. Uh, low, yeah, 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 you go ahead and put the alpha. Although, again, another thing, it's so much you can do, right? Yeah. Like it's an upgrade. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I don't know if that's necessary, to be honest. What kind of uh, game is it? It's going to be a nature photography game? Kind of a 
puzzle game? What kind of puzzle game would you call Buried Things? Is there a name for it? Uh, it's like an exploration game. I guess, yeah. Because it's not like a central mechanic puzzle game. It's almost... It's hard to describe the puzzles in... in... Basically, we, we, we took part in Ludum Dare, which is a game jam, and made a game in three days, and that was like a month or a bit more ago. Um, yeah. And we're sort of continuing a game in, in the spirit of what we made then. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a puzzle game, kind of an exploration game. Kind of casual, I think, and fun. Yeah, definitely describe it as casual. <laughs> and fun. I would also describe it as fun. Infernal describes it like The Witness, and I think... <laughs> That's the single nicest lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's very, it's, single... it's flattering and so wrong. <laughs> Flattering and also intensely insulting to Jonathan Blow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> on his on his behalf. I'm sorry. I, I have I a tear in my eye, but I'm also out. angry <laughs> for him. <laughs> <laughs> how fucking dare you? <laughs> but I'll just subscribe. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, nice. Thank you, man. Um, I'm gonna come back to me. A free roam puzzle, I think, is complete. Yeah. That's by the way. <laughs> I didn't think... I didn't really mean that when I said fuck you earlier. <laughs> super nice, man. <laughs> so I'm going to have, um, like, a controller object that keeps track of, um, like, the mode that you're in, because when you're, um, like, taking photos of stuff, I, I, I guess at least to begin with, that that's probably going to stop your, like, movement control. I want to do dirt Excuse me, um, because you've got a very heavy camera that you can't lug around with you. Uh, as in, like you can't move while you're doing. It. I guess so. Yeah, I would. I would assume so. I would assume it's just a mode. Um. So we need to switch Resident between Evil camera on and let... camera off. Resident Evil Four never let you move while you were aiming. Right. And uh, as a game that is heavily derivative of uh, of. <laughs> Oh, Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. <laughs> we can't take a misstep. We can't divert from that formula by a, a fucking inch. Um, Resident Evil is what we're making. We have to accept that. Yeah. It's, the Resident Evil it's Pokemon Snap back. meets Resident Evil. That's the great way to describe <laughs> the game. It's the Resident Evil 4 of mediocrity. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, just right. So anyway, I'm, I'm fiddling around too much. Uh... How do I want to do grassy areas? Let's go and have a look at some more. Oh, god damn, did it, that dither brush is so good. <laughs> it's going to let us do a lot of very sexy dithering. So let's look at like a flat grassy area. A lot of these people are using completely flat, uh, completely flat color with sprigs of grass that bite into. The dirt. So maybe what I want to be doing is something more like this. Having flat areas and then dithered patches that sort of these are the these are the bits that stick out. Okay, let's try something like this. Let's try just getting a regular dithered brush. And we'll make this layer two, and maybe this becomes universal. So we'll pick up to the patterns. I really liked 875. 875 was tight. And we can do. Oh shit, I need to use the right color. Let's paint the brushes as well. How have I somehow... <laughs> you know, whatever. Bozadar says, will we switch perspective when taking a picture? I assume you mean, like, will it go into first person? Um, and no, probably not. It's, uh, in fact, certainly not. You'll still be in top-down. You're going to have a view in which I can show you sort of, in fact, I'm just going to reduce the alpha on this and then show you. 
Um, let's go into here. Um, this will follow the mouse, I guess, but it doesn't do that yet. But um, let's just put this on like image alpha. Um, so hopefully if I run this, this should work. I'm in the middle of doing this, so if I've not finished it yet, that would be, yeah, that doesn't work, okay. Um, in that case, if I, yeah, let me just change this event for a second. Key press, space. Okay, how about this? There we go. So there's going to be this view um, that follows the mouse. Just like a, this will fade in, and it's just like an, an alpha overlay with this window in the middle, and whatever's in the window is what you take a picture of. And you can just turn that on and off at will, so that's your camera. Um, and there's a couple things I was about to do. I need to change the height the depth of the viewfinder. If I make that depth equals more of like a terrain one. Wait. Will it zoom in on that area? Um, possibly. There's going to be different camera upgrades and stuff. It's very possible that there's going to be a camera upgrade that zooms on your camera. Maybe even, that might be interesting, like if you're taking pictures of insects and stuff, maybe the first camera just can't do that. Uh, for zoom, though, we're not going to increase pixel detail, right? Do maybe not. It might be interesting if there were certain like specific interactions where you could take zoomed pictures, like we need to photo the certain insect it lives on this tree, and if you go up to that tree and use the, the, the zoom focus camera, it actually does take you just for this one specific object to a different, like an image, like a much more detailed image of the tree bark. <laughs> oh shit me. You right there? Uh, no, I'm absolutely fine. Man. Is you know what, I'm going to go ahead and say. I, no, I have react. No, I really have <laughs> I just pressed the, I just pressed the function instead of control. <laughs> In hindsight, could have been my thing. <laughs> um, gonna come back over to you. Okay, well. And I am gonna try and get the view stopping the player moving. And we're still looking at various data styles. Get it to follow the camera as well. So the other thing we could be doing here is just creating some basic grass tufts. And sprinkling them about, and it's also probably one thing we will do as well. Whether that counts as enough to just sort of do it as is. Let's go up to our palette. Let's hit some of these darker greens. Big is that there side? Probably a little on the large side. Set of sprigs on an otherwise dithered background. It starts looking marshy. Do we care about this? I 
it's over you guys. a large swath of it is covered. It doesn't feel normal anyway. Let's go something like this. Let's go some exposed bedrock. Searching for a player camera, I'm searching for a bit controller camera. What? What? Variable object player dot camera on is not set, but I'm not looking for that. It's not set, mate. An object player step. Object player step? Does it think every object in my game is called object player? Oh, I see what's happened. For some dark, sort of greyish rocks, bluey grey. <clears throat> okay, let's do an arrow with this rather than dither. Fluff around it. Ooh, interesting. What are we learning? I think I'm learning that you can't put code after a return and expect it to actually execute. Oh yeah. That's an interesting lesson. <laughs> I guess this thing wants to cast shadows, doesn't it?
how specific do you think we're going to end up getting with, um, like, photo, uh, uh, what's a good word for it, like, quali quality of, of certain components of your, of your picture? Like, do you think you're going to get, if you use, like, the rule of three, the, the rule of thirds, uh, right. to, like, get things in, or do you just, cent is, is just, like, closer to center better, or is just anywhere in frame acceptable and that's it? I think probably anywhere a frame is acceptable is a good place to start. But uh, did what were you thinking? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Really. Okay. Catch you later, Buzzada. to me oh, wow. so what I'm about to do is have it so when you click you get like a little white flash so you can tell you've just taken a picture um, so, I've pressed it. so if you want to check if camera on is the case and if image alpha equals our target alpha because our camera fades in and out and we need to have it fully faded in to be able to function correctly. Um, so on click, if these two things are correct, hey, Lissandra, um then we're going to take a, a photo. So I guess let's just have an overlay, I suppose. Um, Instance create, and I need to make a new object, which is just a white square. How big was your viewfinder? 64 by 64. Not the window, the whole object. 1024. Thank you. Uh, actually, hang on. So let's center that and let's make it happen on. Have it happen on the actual current X and Y of the object. Makes more sense. Actually, what would make even more sense than that is the object player because he's going to be near the center. flash and we want an immediate step event which just reduces image alpha minus equals 0 0.1 and if image alpha equals 0 should now get 
the camera flashes. But only when the camera is nice. We've got camera flashes, Nez, if you want to have, have a look at stream. Awesome. Nice. Every time you click. Uh -huh. Let's put a nice big old uh, epilepsy warning on the top of the stream right there. I did warn everyone I was making a camera flash, so hopefully they were sensible enough. <laughs> to not have epilepsy. <laughs> to not have epilepsy, yeah. Hopefully they took that responsibility upon themselves to be epilepsy free. It would just really dick me over if they had it, I guess. <laughs> uh dither brushes. Let's try. Let's try a dither overlay like this. This might be a really nice way of doing this. Yeah, okay, I think we're getting somewhere. That's such a wacky way to do it, but how much is fun? light or maybe we do maybe we just recolor this what's going on with you right now what's what's hip and happening i'm trying to come up with i'm trying to devise basically a set of rules right. about grass okay so if you have a look at what i'm doing maybe i'm checking out i'm checking out stream right now Okay, so I'm basically trying to work out what's going to make for some good grass, because I imagine there's going to be a lot of it. Uh, so if I just fold this away, uh, and that, and that. Uh, the basic, uh, so I'm looking at a few examples of stuff here. I like the little gra the grass around the, the stone patch. That does so look I think like it has, it's, it's got a little cushion. There's There's a... There's a, what's it called on a carpet? The, the grass has like a shank to it. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I think the actual way that you define the grass is by the contrasted elements around it. Right. Which is why I've done the stone there. Because I think actually that this, uh, as a flat color, is basically a lot of what, I mean, if we ignore the fact that it clashes with the sprite right now, as a flat color is basically a lot of what the grass will end up being. Uh, and then actually what you do is you define gaps in the grass to show where the grass is. Right. And I think also having just tufts, like abstract tufts like this, mm. also help texture the grass out. Cool, okay. Because then, and then what we'll do is we'll have long grass as like a kind of, sort of like what you did earlier. Right. Um, which is like, uh, what is that thing? Uh, as like a kind of uh, single sprite that you can rustle around. Yeah. That will basically be a kind of detailed version of this, but this is always underneath it. Right. And maybe it needs to be denser. So what I'm working out really is a rule for... Um, so it, like one of the things that... Um, I'll, I'll show everyone on stream now. 
a really classic uh, texture that's like really easy to do and you see a lot in like fairs and stuff uh, is this type of stone uh, where you get like a color, let's say we're making a blue rock. We'll just go ahead and make a thing like this. And then in order to make a kind of tile of this rock, uh, a super easy way of doing this is by yoink, yoink. No, not a brush pencil. And not an 86 pixel pencil. I want a pixel pencil. You do something like, oh shit, you do something like, uh, fucking hell, come on. Why is this not working? Ah, oh, I've got a dither brush on. You fool! <laughs> no dither, just brush, regular brush. No, I've still got it on. Why, why must you do this to me? Right. You do something like this, and like this, and then you take a lighter colour, Something like this, uh, like that, just something like this. So what, sorry, what are you making with it? Uh, so like a stone tile. Yeah, okay. One of the stone tile is basically, let's say this is this is assuming light is coming from the bottom left. Mm -hmm. You make and, little uh, pocket like you make, marks, right? Yeah, this is like, and basically, th this is a really interesting like thing to do because not only is this like you know a good texture you can reuse, but it also the reason this works really well isn't that is because it's sort of following like a rule. Aren't you um? Inverting the light on that. Oh, I guess it's sticking out as opposed to going in. Uh, oh, yeah, I see. Like if it was catching the light the other way around, like if this was. Yeah, because I see those as almost indents, which would make the, the light the wrong way around, but I guess. Uh, and yeah, yeah, you could, yeah, you could totally. Yeah, you're right there. I mean, like, oh shit, this would also be completely readable. As, uh, yeah, as a different kind of divot. Uh, so the, re so the the reason that this is super like readable, obviously, is it's just lighting information. Yeah. But um, it follows a really basic rule, and you can replicate. You can make tons of different types of these tiles by just understanding that uh, I'm always leaving a one pixel gap here to imply roundness, uh, and I'm using uh, just this three color palette. Blah, blah, blah. So what I'm trying to do is come up with a sort of rule for grass, and what I'm doing is basically any grass that sticks up. Yeah is this color mm -hmm. and around an area like this yeah i think what i'm doing is the sticking up grass at the top and at the bottom mm -hmm. and maybe along the sides it's just a shadow i'm i'm wondering whether the grass at the bottom of this the the stick up enus of it should be shorter mm -hmm. maybe it should almost be like single pixel stick up enus um because i think that the, the the impression, I guess, of the the stone and the grass that like stamped down, like it's it's a lower level. Yeah. I think that's implied by just the back grass, and I think this front grass maybe looks a little bit odd. I don't know if you want to okay. just try. Yeah, it yeah, almost definitely. looks like the grass is up in Liberty Spikes at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like it's wearing hair gel. <laughs> so maybe try shortening it a bit. I don't know. Just an idea. Because then the other thing I want to know is can having two layers of grass. Um, without having like a stone texture and stuff that follows that sort of rule for texturing, having like a, a, a top and a bottom layer and having that be like a kind of pattern, almost like a Voronoi noise pattern on top of like one layer on top of another one, mm. following that sort of basic rule set. Will that make for a really interesting looking textured ground that reads like grass? Okay. Or is a better way to do this? So kind of what we did with buried things with the sand and actually just have two or three overlapping, very close colors that gently fade off with a white or a black. Because I've also seen that done quite well before, and I might have a quick look in um, my old drive, where I've made some kind of meadowy grass colors before mm. for different projects and reused those. Well, uh, I mean, gra grass is actually pretty shiny. Like it's, it is. A short it's grass, at least. Shine, yeah. So we we could definitely go for the the sunshine on the middle of it. Uh, it does look bloody good. I guess, I guess you might want to do it a bit differently than the sand, right? Because the sand our shine. Well, we'd like it with the sunshine is like spackles. Yeah, but it was a, it was like a perfect circle because it's such a flat thing. Whereas the the grass might want to have a much less defined shape in the shine. 
Uh, yeah, the other thing is, it's just what is the actual shine? Like, maybe it's more like, um, rather than having, like, uh, speckled dots, it's more like thin lines, white lines. Yes. That, like, spike, spike up, almost more like what you draw if you were drawing rain or something. Maybe, yeah. And then maybe that will look like sing like blades of grass are catching the light yeah. rather than just dots on the ground are catching the light. Yeah. I think there's a lot of ways we can go around this now. They're definitely going to spend a lot of time trying to get uh, some of these, like, flat textures, floor okay. textures, feeling nice. Sure. Uh, because then actually like just drawing like assets like uh, you know if, if the if the character starts with a plane crash drawing a big crashed plane that's really fun but i can you know spend a lot of time on that asset yeah Whereas grass i think we want to get a good sense of what's the what's the floor look like again the problem with a lot of this is it's really hard to tell until other stuff starts going up at the top of it so we'll see Um, I feel like I was going to mention something else earlier. Oh, I know what it was. Um, so yeah, you said that you might want to have quite frequent areas where like the grass is interrupted by something, so that you can by by that absence you can see where the grass is, right? Um, and yeah. mechanically, that actually may be not a bad thing to do anyway, because having all these like spots where where the grass is interrupted could all uh, are all potential places to be finding like ways of tracking things. Like if things mm -hmm. live in dens underground, having molehills everywhere yeah. means that you can start trying to find moles. Um, but there's lots of choice, and you need to work out exactly how you know which molehill is the correct one to go to. How do you how do you know what like a fresh molehill is or one that's been entered recently? Um, so, I think that works in both aspects, which is nice. Yeah, well, definitely. I'm just cracking open. Grass from the past. <laughs> um, I'm going to flick back to me, although I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I made a... Whoops. I, I keep randomly adding pluses to stuff, because numpad plus is my macro <laughs> for switching between us. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could... Take numlock off. If I do that, actually, quick test. If I take numlock off and then hit numlock plus, it's, it, it hopefully won't type one, but will it still be recognized by OBS? Wow, no, it still typed it as well, actually. <laughs> so, yes I thought, and no. I thought numlock was supposed to stop the number pad being accessible. It does. I've always got mine off. Oh. Well, mine doesn't seem to do that. Um... So we've made a viewfinder that follows the camera, follows the mouse rather. You can click to take a photo. Next thing to do would probably be to like make an array of things within the frame when you photograph it. And decide like how much of an object has to be present for you to actually recognize it as being in, in the photo? Uh, yeah, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Let's change you. Yeah. Any other fun things I could do with the camera? The view? I'm going to try and call it the view because that's going to get confusing since our game has an actual camera in it. <laughs> like the, um... the game oh, you, window. Oh, you say the view game window. Uh, I've got it following the player's eyes right now. Yeah, definitely a good start. Um, oh, the player wants to be able to come slightly off center. I think right now. He wants to be able to come off center. Yeah. So yes. the camera doesn't follow him locked to the dead center. The you screen. want a soft zone and a dead zone. Is that how the to yeah. refer to it? Soft zone you can walk around in, but it will slowly move towards you. Dead zone you cannot go beyond that limit. Well, without it's... the camera, I can see freely. I wonder actually if I can. No, I don't know if we do want that because if the camera's moving to follow where the player's eyes are, it would be weird to say turn left, have the camera preempt you and move so that you're further to the right of the screen, but then you start moving freely to the left without being followed by the camera. Because the whole point of flicking the camera in front of the player is to see further ahead of you, right? 
Yeah. So I don't know if you want a soft zone where you move around without a camera following you. you like you want the camera to preempt you. You can still have a soft zone that's not the center of the screen. Um, I, I guess, but if you're flicking the camera where the player's looking, mm -hmm. I feel like where you'd want the soft zone, even off center, you'd always be at the front of it anyway. There's nowhere to go. Like, I can't, yeah, if, I, if I'm stood here with the camera facing in front of me, there's really nowhere I'd want to be able to move that the camera shouldn't move. I think. Well, you might want to move more into the screen. Would you? Would you not want to see in front of you? Um, I mean, you, you you would, I guess, but soft zones are more just to make the screen a little bit more interesting visually. Like, I think mechanically, maybe it's not a benefit, but when you stop, the fact that the camera catches up to you and you can see a bit more in front of you is, is also sort of mechanical. Well, I think that the, the camera facing in front of you is doing the job of the visual interest anyway. Um, but I, I almost feel like it's one, of, one or the other, really, because a dead zone is doing the opposite of this camera preempting when you're looking. The dead zone lets it's you not, get further it's, forwards it's not, without being well, forward. Well, what, what, I mean, not necessarily. Like, if you look at this now, so like where you've got yourself centered, yeah. let's say you're what, like uh, through two fifths of the way across the screen. We'll go with that, yeah. Yeah. So what you can have is actually the natural rest for this is yeah. that you're one fifth of the way across the screen, but pushing yourself up to the front of the soft zone gets you to two fifths. Like you can still be not centered and still see ahead of you, but have it so that when you stop and the camera rests, you're seeing even further. Now, the, the problem here is to get myself to one fifth of the screen right now isn't possible because I would have to walk to my right, right? No, what I'm so what I'm saying is that the, right, right now the camera is offset in a particular amount. Yeah. Let's say the camera naturally offsets you so that you're at one fifth of the way across the screen. Right. That's what you have this set up for. But you have a soft zone that takes you up to two fifths. So as you're moving towards two fifths, the camera doesn't naturally follow you. The, the other option. The other option is to do the literal exact opposite, right? I see what you're saying. Uh, as, as, you move, as you're moving forward. No, I don't, know. I don't know. I like the camera flicking to where you're looking. That seems juicy. That's very, uh, that's very Vlambeer and they do things correctly. Yeah, it was <laughs> <laughs> actively true. Um, but I think also having having a very, like even, even if the soft zone is just like 16 pixels, like it's still interesting. Yeah, I guess, I guess in order to have a, a soft zone work, I think the camera looking in front of you has to do that almost more aggressively. The thing is, it almost looks like you've got a soft zone. Yeah, and it maybe it does, does have more. It almost, but only only after, as you flick. When you change direction, it look, feels like you have a soft zone, and that feels really not. Actually, do you just have a soft zone? No. It's, no, you have got one. No, <laughs> you have. You put this one in. But if I do this, the camera's following me. It's because there's a lerp on the camera following me. That's why it looks like there's a soft zone. Oh, well, that basically is a soft zone. Kind of. The camera The camera slides. It doesn't lock. So it, it's almost like a... No, you do. I mean, you, you basically have a soft zone at this point if the camera can't keep up with you as you move. But it can eventually. Yeah. You are going... I you guess are that's functionally a, a very small soft zone, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. I didn't even notice that was happening. Okay, I think sure. that's fine. Okay. Do you think what might be nice is... Um, when I okay, here, here's the thing. When I bring up my camera view like this, yeah. do you think it would be nice if this pulls the camera towards it a little bit? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, let's do that. That's a fun camera thing. Yeah, that's texting. Um, um, currently looking at. Uh, a busy grass texture that I've got, which is quite nice. Oh, you are busy. <laughs> you are oh, busy. you have been busy. <laughs> That's not very busy. Been busy as a cat. Hey. <laughs> oh, That's not right. I'm trying a secondary grass <laughs> okay. system. So that's if the camera's not on. Else, if the camera that's not on. is on. That camera is just not on, mate. That is not on. That's not on, pal. If that's the camera's not, not on, that means that we want it to start kind of following the, the mouse a bit, a little bit. 
which would mean let's start doing this without a clamp first of all so let's just have it purely follow the the um the cursor so else target x equals and then mouse x in fact let's just copy and paste that but change that to mouse okay so hopefully n now when we switch between camera mode and not camera mode the cam the camera should follow the mouse or not follow the mouse so here camera follows the player let me do this and the camera stops working entirely sick sick i think we've got it <laughs> Um, why? If object controller camera on, target x equals mouse x. Why doesn't that work? <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, of course. That shouldn't be in this if condition. That should be after both if conditions. Okay, let's try this out. I get. I suspect the camera might be about to go completely mad and go way too fast. But let's see. Whoa! Yes, that's very quick. But it does work. So we now need to clamp this to a max distance from the player. I think we might be about to do some trigonometry, folks. Hey! Which is about as complex as my maths gets. It's more complex than mine gets. It's not and as I'm complex as is required for Katayan. <laughs> I love telling people this. <laughs> Unless you forget, I do this for a living. <laughs> I don't even really know what trig is. <laughs> Let alone bloody calculus. Calculus? There's there's oh. at least, I think, five modules in Katane now that require calculus. Okay, calculus. Which is madness, and those people should be burned at the stake. Me now. <laughs> the people who made those oh. are terrible humans. They're your friends. Some of them are. <laughs> <laughs> So the ones own, who yeah. didn't make modules to do with calculus. <laughs> yes, they do. They do own up to that, at least. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> if you add a puzzle to a game that requires calculus, you're a monster. <laughs> Some of you are all right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flick back to you, and I'm going to try and clamp this, uh, this camera. Clamp it, bud. Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, the art side of the channel. Over here we're looking at a second type of grass. I just don't understand why the art... There we go. <laughs> uh, so the other possibility here is to do grass patched on like this. Use a complex grass texture. It starts to look kind of marshy and I also really like this. This is also the sort of grass I was thinking would be the, the long grass. And we can kind of rustle around in it. So this starts to fit. This is almost more like a game I never played, but I've heard is very good and is very pretty. Secret of Mana. It's almost more of a, that because it's super fucking dense and complex. It's not my normal style, but it might be interesting to keep to keep it very busy. Doing kind of patches of like thicker grass like this, and then yeah, under of like a similar green layer. And then we just get a dinner brush, maybe. Ooh. God, I'm trying to look out a good way of doing this. Because 
Trig would be easy enough to find out like the the coordinates at the edge of a circle. But this camera could be anywhere in a circle. What is the, why is the um what capacity? No 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 opacity. Is that what O means? No, it's not. Why am I not opacity on my brush? No smoothing, no opacity, hundred percent flat. Normal. Okay, here's something. If no bad, very bad. Where's all this coming from? The absolute value. Distance mm -hmm. to point. How does distance to point work? Distance to point should need four. No. I need distance to point, but where I can put two sets of coordinates in. Oh wait, no. Distance to point just takes two objects. Uh, no. Distance distance to object, and then object. Distance to point. I will say distance to object and object distance are two different things. And one is where you only give one argument, and one's where you give two. Object distance. Distance to object is where you take the current object and look how far away an, an argument is. But I think an there's object a, it's between two objects. objects. I, th I think that's a thing. Okay, yeah, distance to object takes one, and it just looks for the distance between. Okay. This is the object. What are we actually calling this from? The camera controller. Yeah, this is what I want to check. And then distance to point. Okay. I think I know what we're doing. Is there no? Okay, I guess there isn't actually a um, a function to get a distance between two objects. That's gross. That's rubbish. I guess I can call it from player though. So with Okay, point distance is a thing. So, <laughs> distance to object exists as a distance from me to an object. Go ahead. But there is no object distance between two random objects. Hey there, Yoshi Power. Now, distance to point also exists, which is the distance between me and a given coordinate. But in this case, point distance does still exist, which is the distance between two random points. That's love that. That's brilliant. We love that. We love that. Don't we? Love it. We love it. Love it. 
We bloody love it. F point distance. Um, object player dot x. Object player dot y. Oh, dear me. Object player dot x. Object player dot y. Uh, and then I guess I can mouse x and mouse y. Is greater than um, camera. And we need to just find camera clamp. And then I think there should also be um, game maker get point at distance, I think is a thing. Do I want to layer this as like a repeat? Basically, that's not sky, but. Here is Sky. <laughs> Stream for two unique days in the last 30 days. I guess we went over the midnight mark. <laughs> Congratulations on your first landmark. <laughs> hey, silly, don't forget to come and check out the Twitch stream. <laughs> So I'm looking, I'm finding the, the point distance between the mouse and the object and the player. And if it's bigger than a predefined variable, which I'm going to set in the create, then I need to re reassign target X and target Y to be closer to the player. Doing silly good. So I want to. Oh, I didn't say game maker. That's been a long day at work. Yeah, point in a certain direction at a certain distance. Is this and sort of sympathize in that I did have a long day at work, That's but my day at work was from home. So I can't that bit I can't distance between two points. Not that to be home. Board chillers. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. So let's just stick those down there. Yeah, this is what I need. Fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it would be nice to hear your voice, but I, <laughs> I can't. I can if I close my eyes. Is that the only way you can imagine voice? Yeah, I, I actually can't. Um, <laughs> I actually can only hear your voice. It's becoming difficult, but I hear your voice every time I close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I need help. I don't know why this is happening. <laughs> Please stop haunting me. <laughs> okay. I didn't ask for this, really. So target X needs to be um, length, direction X. The magnitude is going to be camera clamp, I guess. Um, the direction is going to be point direction. Um, in fact, let's just define a quick local variable here. Point direction 
Um, of this. Um, and is that all I need? Let's comment all this out just for now. Uh, is that going to work? Let's find out, I suppose. I'm very worried that what I'm about to say is going to sound racist. <laughs> oh, no. But but here I go. Okay, this thanks for quite... watching, everyone. Um, we'll catch you. <laughs> 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 All right, quickly now, before he fucks me into <laughs> the rest of my monetization for life. This grass just looks like Arabic to me. <laughs> My grass looks very Arabic. I don't know whether I to, I want you to explain yourself to try and get us out of this situation. <laughs> I can't. Or if that's just going to dig the whole people. All I can do, all I can do at this point is make things worse. I'm so if I switching to, keep to your feed well, right now, but I'm scared as I do that. <laughs> it's like a hideous caricature. <laughs> I've drawn like a <laughs> like a real like and everybody draw <laughs> Muhammad Day. Yeah, I've 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 taken I've taken the plunge. No, I just mean it reads like Arabic script. There's something about the um. It's Arabic, the Arabic grass. I've drawn Arabic grass. What? Um, Can you zoom in on it? So do, I, do I think? Give it, give this, it a cheeky zoom. I want to see why it's so Arabic. It's just sort of like this reads like if you read it, you could read it left, right to left. <laughs> No, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, to be honest, mate, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure I had the most solid uh, sentence there. Uh, all right, let's. It's too dense. Way too dense. Hmm. But is it if I take the contrast down a shit ton, or in fact just take the opacity down a shit ton? This clamp is not working at all. Why do we dislike this? I think we do. I think this <laughs> distance is bigger than camera clamp. The direction yeah. between the set and the target yeah. X. The sand. Don't start talking Bliss. about Arabs again. <laughs> that was see that that's got to be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Arabs. <laughs> anyway, I was fucking. I pissed myself laughing earlier, um, and I was laughing a lot quietly, like in bed. Yeah. <laughs> And I remember thinking that you were the only person in the world who would have laughed at the same thing I was laughing at. Okay. And it really fucking annoys me. I don't know what it was, but it was just a word I wrote. And it was, just, and I, I don't know, I don't know why. It's like not a weird word. I just, it's like something about the timing of saying it. God, it was good. It's going to really fucking bother me. I think I was replying to Daisy and it wasn't like me and how were joking a lot, but it was before that. <laughs> it was just during a sentence. <laughs> What would it? Let's, I'm going to quickly go through this. Okay, let's see. What we're going to do. <laughs> Could be white bait for my bastard gannet fishmonger. <laughs> I don't think it's that. Mere twinkle of merriment. The apples grow again. <laughs> That should not be triggering. <laughs> and everything else oh, is very shit. Is that why this is happening? I've got this in entirely the wrong place in the code. That's why. Okay, so let's look at this again. So. 
Yeah, oh shit. Okay, this needs to go here. Uh, anyway, to go back to what I was going to say earlier before I got really distracted, the Sen, the way we did that was by layering like 16 by 16 tiles everywhere. Is that right? Oh, that's very odd. Um, yeah, and as the someone shot. actually mentioned maybe a more interesting way of doing that, yeah. which would be to have a, maybe a less intensive way of doing that. Which is to have a sim simply a white texture under the camera, under the floor, mm. that follows mm. the camera and there's holes in the texture. A white texture? Oh, just, just, a, follows just, a, the just a black, just white square. Just a pure white. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and there's holes in the. of like semi alpha. Or complete alpha holes, and the, or, or I guess sorry, I guess it wouldn't be a white perfect square. It would just be a radial white. Yeah, yeah. But the holes in the texture. They don't have. To oh, be... so we, we like we like. Ah, okay. You just like make bits of them like lower opacity. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so hang on. So actually, you wouldn't. So what you would do is you would have a flat colored texture underneath the camera. Yes. Like a green. Yeah, and then uh and then a white circle on top of that, yes. smaller. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So does mean that when you change Well, no, it doesn't even have to be a green. It could have like it could be black and white, right? And then the holes in the texture are just lower opacity. No, it doesn't work as well. That may not be as good a solution, I'm not sure. It's, I think, a less intensive solution, though. It's way less intensive. Yeah, I can see why that would be sensible. I want to kind of try it with this grass as the thing. See if we can get some shine and shimmer. Because if you look at the grass on my screen now, I think this is what I was talking about for tufts of, uh, of grass. This kind of denser, thicker, you'd walk through these, these would rustle, and I'll do a rustle animation for, yeah. for these. But I think I have a rustle animation for these. Um, but then the the kind of the flat here, um, I think I was I was doing just like this kind of overlay, but this is way too intense. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just like little little sprigs of this around instead. Hey fish. Uh, like even that's probably too much, but like Actually, that is too much, I think. I think I've gone overboard. I wasn't supposed to get folded in. Just like, uh, i just grab like a segment of this. Should I just do like a radial selection? No, 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 even better than that, let's do LSU selection. Let's just do... Just spatter these around. I like that in Game Maker's own documentation for length direction underscore x, the description is this function seems confusing at first, but it's not really. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <Game Maker. laughs> how, I mean, how bold of them, but also don't be that shitty. <laughs> if you know you've made a mistake, <laughs> unmake it. Now, we'll be honest, we wanged this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing it says. <laughs> Hands up, we could have done better here. <laughs> ah, so target X needs to be from object player dot X plus. Is that right? I hope that. 
that's right. I really hope that's right. Come on. Please work. Please don't want him to show me something. Um, it's not quite yet, but... Okay. Uh, 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 okay, that almost works. And then minus... Yes, mate. You got some good shit going on? I've got some good shit going on. Show me the good shit. Um, I'm gonna come back to my feed here. So, um, now, so the, the camera follows the player, follows where he looks. Um, now, if I go into camera mode, the camera follows where my where my view is, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's clamped to a distance from the player, so it, it it's almost like tethered the center of the screen like that so I can't get it too far away from the player uh, uh, yeah what's the maximum distance you can get it from the player currently that clamp is 64 but I can reduce that so it's bigger than the bounds of the screen right now what was it? it's bigger than the bounds of the screen right now um, so you can get, I'm trying to work out, because the player is already 16, and that looks like you can get it further than 64 away. I'm trying to work out exactly how this works. Okay, um, but I see what you're going for. I thought it was really good. Yeah. Um, are you, I don't know how long you've wanted to stream tonight. We've gone two hours now. Um, do you want to do maybe another half hour and then call it? Uh, up to you. Are you happy to go for another half now? Yeah, I'm happy to go for another half an hour. I've got, I mean, i got very little going on right now in my world. <laughs> I could go for longer. I really don't mind. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm actually starting to get kind of tired. Okay. Um, um, then call it, call it a night now, if you like, and then we can uh, we can pick up. Yeah, well, to be fair, I do feel like I've just kind of naturally come to the finish of what I was making. Cool. Um, I think I'm starting to hit some patterns I like. If you come and have a look over um, at the... I've switched over. I'm going to come, come check it out. I mean, I just, in terms of like, I think the these tufts aren't like ideal, but basically what I'm looking at here is a sort of flat, uh, flat bottom texture. Uh, some like uh, detailing with these tufts here. I might even do some detailing with having two colored on this flat texture. Mm -hmm. uh, and then kind of patches of thicker area here. The grass is effectively one of the things that we can put in. Um, like rocks and rubble and things. Mm -hmm. I basically want to create loads of these on top assets, but they don't have to be... Um, one of the other things I was thinking is things like rocks and trees and stuff. You don't have to put the sprites in in Game Maker if that's going to get heavier. You really don't have to put the collision data in Game Maker. We can actually put a lot of the things that aren't going to be specific items that you felt like just crap in the world, yeah. like rubble, can just be in the Photoshop doc as well. But for now, we'll do all the sprites in Game Maker, and then if we want to, we can recreate it later yes. to save memory. Yeah. Um, but for now, I think like something. I don't think like I've got this bubbling around the grass area correct or anything, but <clears throat> uh, I think being able to move through this and have this this little bit of grass rustle, and mm -hmm. I'll send you the, I'll send you each of those individual sprites. Um, I'll put them in the art folder, and you can you can use your archive for those, and then they can just sort of like, yeah bend away from you or even just like do one rustle and then end on a bend away from you uh like to kind of like look like they've got like they're springing back and forth yeah okay uh and then the actual other meadow you get um actually i think these are all i think maybe i would go up to like can even pull this down a little bit just have that be like very fine detail uh and i do want to try the I want to try the shine on the grass thing next sesh. Sure. See if we can get something looking good like that. Because if that's the case, what I'll do is I'll just build <clears throat> um, a bunch of modular assets. Yep. And then me and you can have a session game maker where we go through and we start building like a nice little scene. Yeah, nice. Uh, and then we can work out what modular assets would be cool for another scene. Because yeah. um, obviously a lot of scenes won't be modular. Like it'll be like, oh, this would be nice to have like a little lake or this would be. 
Um, but we can build shit tons of modular assets and hopefully in make create interesting scenes out of small bits. Sure. So yeah. can we use them? Sound good? All right. Um, yeah, I guess we'll close up here and that, that's what we'll take a look at next time. Yeah, um, awesome. So thanks for watching, everyone. And, Cheers, guys. Um, we'll, next stream is uh, Rex tomorrow with, uh, I think it's his mark of the Ninja Day. And then Thursday, I'll be back. What do you reckon about Thursday? Is Thursday another dev day? Um, Up to you. No, not this Thursday. Okay. It can't be, unfortunately. Um, so Thursday, I might be doing something else. If not, I might just skip it. We'll see. Friday's Pinball. Saturday is our Katane stream. And then it goes on ad infinitum from there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Cheers for watching, everyone. We'll catch you all next time. Thanks, guys.